And we are back. Lynn's totally wrong with her no-hitter theory. Everything is fine. I mean, sure, I wasn't aware I was doing great with Charlie, and now I am, but that's not going to change anything. Still going to be the same confident guy I've always been. Uh, yeah, I doubt that, man. dude. That's not how you talk that. I'm just going to go downstairs and be the same confident guy I've always been. It's all good. Ooh. Oh, are those the skewers I've heard so much about? Mm. People are talking. E. Can you see him? Did you see him? Are you seeing him? Can you see him? Did you see him? Oh, God. When I see him, I will tell you. Oh, there's Clyde. What? Who is he with? How does he look? How is he feeling? How am I feeling? Ah, uh, talk to me. He's with Marnie. He looks contemplative. What? He does look contemplative. I cannot believe that Clyde's in there having a milestone while we're out here looking through antique binoculars that we got what? at that estate sale. Why did y'all just leave him alone? I learned to tie his shoes on that trip. I cannot believe the Louds didn't invite us. Next time I see that Lynn Loud senior, I'm gonna give him my deep voice. Ooh. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, we just out uh, driving around. Yeah, well, doing the real estate thing. <laughs> we're looky-loos. <laughs> hey, where have you been? I told you we invited you, right? Wow. Of course he did. Oh, get in here. Hey, I love your ride. <laughs> it's no Vanzilla. <laughs> Time to get this train back on the tracks. Oh, um, Look, absolutely adorable. Apropos of nothing, do you have a coat that Clyde could help you put on later? Yeah. Showtime. Ooh. I'm so sorry. It's okay. My dad can fix it. Oh, yes, he can. He can do it. He's opening a second He's office. He's a miracle runner. So, uh, Lincoln, who's your date? I'm actually going solo to the dance, which I think is really cool. She well, thinks wow, really solo cool. again. Look from that Wait, episode. Really cool? Is she being sarcastic? Because going to the dance by herself really isn't cool. Oh my gosh. She thinks I'm not cool. You gotta fix this, Lincoln. Say something cool. Oh, I'm taking my sister to the dance. Okay. Which is cool. Because a lot of guys wouldn't do that. It takes a lot of confidence to take your sister to a dance. Uh, and I'm yeah. Confident. And cool. As you know. Whew. Nice save, Lincoln. Now all I need to do is get one of my sisters to go to the dance with me, and I'm back in the game. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Like who? Idea. Who exactly? I know you're busy, Luann, but if you change your mind, I could get matching suits for me and Mr. Coconuts. Hello, Lincoln. I hear you need a companion to accompany you to your sacred dance ritual. Lucy, you're a lifesaver, and you don't have to worry about what to wear, because... I can't go. I've made a blood promise to Edwin that we'd attend our first dance together. Ugh. How can a guy with ten sisters not have one that wants to go to a middle school dance with him? All right, it's Len or Bust. Hey, Lincoln, how's it going? Terrible. Ever since you told me I was doing great with Charlie, I've done nothing but bomb. Okay, it can't be that bad. I kangaroo punched Clyde's date, then bragged about taking my sister to a dance, which, by the way, was a lie, because everyone except for Lynn turned me down, including you. Maybe I'll take this fern. I'll be the man with the plant. I'm sorry, Lincoln, but as a former kangaroo queen, I can only be seen with former kangaroo royalty. I know! Seriously? You explained the pouch promise. Oh, so you understand. <laughs> well, it says nothing in here about a pouch promise. I can confirm that. No. So according to that there book, you should be able to try on the crown. It was literally added in the bylaws in 1991. Three ounces to go for Cannonball! Man, this place is buzzing like a beehive and 
you lie. My goosebumps have goosebumps. Woo! Not going to the dance with you, Lincoln. Lincoln, I figured out what your problem is. When you weren't trying, Charlie liked you. But now you're trying so hard that you literally reek of desperation. So we need to get you back to the point where Charlie felt like you didn't care. You're right. It's so obvious. Thank you, Lori. Now we completely understand women. Oh, there he is. Hey, Lincoln. Enough, Charlie. Uh... I don't like you. I just don't. And here's the pitch from Cannonball. I hope she clears everything up. Jeez, Lincoln. Sorry. Wow. You should Wow. You should have said that, boy. You really should have. You should have said that. You may have. You may have heard a few. <sighs> but anyways, guys. Turn around for part three.